The government set an ambitious target of connecting 70% of households to the national grid by the end of this year and ensuring all households have power supply by the year 2020. This is mainly powered by coal, wind, solar and geothermal power projects. On the geothermal front, Kenjane is set to commission Old Carrier 5 in an extension of Old Carrier 1 power plant with a capacity of 210 megawatts. In the next two years or so, are going to be under construction for the next 24 months, 27, maximum 30 months. The Ato Carrier 5, we expect to get about 160 megawatts. At Carrier 1, we expect to get about 70 to 80 megawatts. With funding already secured from Japan International Corporation Agency, JICA, Kenjun expects to complete the two projects within the next two years. The power projects are part of the wider plan to reduce the cost of electricity in the country. We require the support and the goodwill of the Okaria community, or the Naivasha or the Nakuru community, as well as the Naro community. And that is why we are very, very happy uh, when we are able to work with the provincial administration, both in Narok and in Nakuru County, as well as with the elected leaders. Mugu says plans for the old carrier industrial are at an advanced stage and that tens of investors have expressed interest in the project. And we, were very, we are very keen to partner with yourselves and any other people towards providing what is needed. We are ready to provide steam to industries that use steam for their processes and we'll also be able to provide electricity because many industries want reliable electricity and when they are near where that electricity is generated, we will be able to provide that.